Hello everybody and welcome to a very special stream here on the Focus Home Interactive Twitch channel. My name is Ben, I'm joined today by Ugo. Hello guys. And we're going to show you the Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 Massive Fleet Mode. Surprise announced and released today. You can go play it right now, but don't watch us instead. Um, we're also going to talk about a load of other different stuff to do with BFG2. Ugo, you're not Raman. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm Team Malo's producer, uh -huh. so you know me well through my work, kind of. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm here today to speak uh, to speak to you uh, about our last major update for BFD2, and mainly the Massive Fleet mod. That is the main addition of this mod, of this update. Mm -hmm. We also so we also patched today, um, yeah. and we also did the season roll today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that later, but there's a huge patch. No list over on the uh, Steam page. If you want to take a look at it, it's there. Um, we did balance changes to like every fleet. There's a load of bug fixes. There's some co-op stuff. Um, but we can talk about massive fleets first, and yeah. then we're going to do Q and A, and we'll do a load of other stuff um, after that. So let's uh, let's jump in. Charles is also here. Hello, Charles. Hey, guys. hello, Sean. How everybody can hear Charles? He's going to be our director, our game driver today. Um, and yeah, let's jump in. So what is massive fleets? Okay, so basically Massive Fleet is upgrading the, the base game mode with a, a way lot more free point deploy, so it's kind of four times. Yeah, it was 1200 before, right? Yeah, and now yeah. it's 4000. Yeah, so with that you can do incredibly big fleet. Uh, we could have put the, the limit lower or higher, so it's, it's kind of arbitrary, but we wanted to be sure that every player could do kind of what he, what he wanted to do with that. So you can now build any kind of fleet with some Titan too. That is uh, the the uh, the other addition. And there's two. There's kind of two things to know. One is uh, this is a fun first mode as yeah. we're putting it. Yeah. That means we're going to try and balance it. Like if there's something that is completely broken, then we'll you know we'll try and find a way to fix it that doesn't affect the main game mode. Our main game mode though is the one v one, 1200 yeah. point. That's what our competitive seasons are based on. That's what our matchmaking is based on. So if you want to play like in a serious manner, you want to play the 1200 point mode. You want to play for fun, you want to have massive ships and blow stuff up, 4,000 points is there for you, and also any amount between. The other thing is, uh, the game was not built to handle no, 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 8,000 points up to, I think if you set the enemy fleets to hard, they have like 5,000 yeah. points, so it's like, it's up to around 120 ships on screen at once, if everybody just Something takes like the most that. number. The game wasn't built to handle that. It can run pretty okay. If you have like a monster PC, yeah. if you're running at the minimum specs, you might need to limit yourself a little bit. Um, we can't try and support the lower spec PCs with the, these number of ships. It just simply isn't possible. The engine can't handle it. Um, but we still think it's super fun. Yeah. You can still get around 30 FPS with like a decent PC, even with all those uh, all those ships on screen. I've done it at work. Um, but trying to hit 60, you might just need an absolute beast of a rig. Those two things out of the way, let's get in. Let's show off some Titans. Let's explain what those are. Um, and let's build a fleet. Why not? Alright, so you pretty much you access this just by going into battle as you would with anything else. Um, and then you, when you go to build your fleet, we're going to build a Chaos fleet today because they have two Titans that we want to show off. Um, and then when you are doing that, um, you you can select a higher point total than you could before. And that's by going to create a massive fleet. It takes a little bit of time to load all of these humongous ships. And if it crashes, I'm going to be so sad. It okay, didn't crash. So this is a warning yeah. about the specs that are not uh, any longer re relevant. Okay, so here are the, the, the new roster. So Chaos uh, has two new Titans to play with, the Vengeful Spirit and the Blackstone. So I don't know if you know them well, but the Blackstone has a single pretty pretty powerful cannon. And the Vengeful is, uh, is, the most, is the most powerful shape of the whole, uh, the whole fleet of Chaos. So maybe pu put them both and try to, to fill the, the, the 4,000 points with, uh, with cruiser or battleships. And so basically the point here is these ships would be ludicrously overpowered to put into a competitive mode. Yeah. Uh, and they cost, so the Blackstone costs 1,000 on its own, which would be most of your fleet cap in 1,200. Yeah. Here, if you want, you can have three Blackstone fortresses. Not quite four, but three. Um, and those, they will shred, they will shred your enemies. Um, so yeah, the max that we have now is 4,000. Um, that means you can have a lot of like uh, escort ships. You can have anything from around like probably 10 or so massive ships to something like 60. Yeah. Uh, I think I tried it with orcs and I managed to get it up to 66 or 65. I something think like that. so. I yeah. Think so. Um, and that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. 
so that's what we have for Chaos. Um, today we're going to show off the Vengeful uh, Spirit and the, uh, the Blackstone Fortress, uh, which previously you might have seen in the campaign mode. That's yeah. where we've ported this stuff from. Um, and we're hoping to keep this updated with new stuff um, as we go forward. You know, we'd like to add more ships and stuff like that, if people are interested and if people find stuff that they want to see. But for this, these two ones, uh, they were not playable in the campaign, just opponents. They were, they were always... Like the first time you can uh, really play them. Facing you now, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go for it. And then we're gonna go against the Tyranids. Yeah. And try to put the, the Titan with it, so he, can, uh, he may have uh, an Ancient One. Yeah, yeah that's the button. Right um, there. You can keep them with 4000 points, should be fine. Yeah. Alright, cool, let's jump in. So yeah, um, the Tyranids themselves, hopefully it'll spawn. But they have the uh, the ancient one, which was available in the campaign. It was one of the playable ships. It was early on in the campaign. You got access to it, right? Yeah, in the very first mission of mm. the, the terrain campaign, you can play it. So now you can you can crush all your foes with that if you know if that's what you want to do. If that's the place you want to live. And um, those of you that haven't played this mode yet, you will see the difference very very soon Pretty between the two. Okay, so this is a vengeful. He's hanging out. Yeah. yeah, so there is just a lot more stuff on screen. And this is a one of the smaller fleets you can yeah. build uh, in the mode. As we were saying, you can have up to about 60 ships. Obviously, at that point, it's fairly ridiculous. But you can pretty easily build ships of fleets of you know 30 to 40 quite easily that are quite diverse in um, exactly how they're put together. And yeah, I mean, the cool thing about this mode is controlling these massive Titan ships. Yep. Um, so, you know, what, what, what's, our, what's our gunnage here? What, are, what, what have we got access to? Uh, what do you have access to? Yeah. So, mainly, mainly the, the new weapon, and mm -hmm. a, a, way, a way more strategic way of doing things. Mm -hmm. But the Vengeful Spirit, can, can you have a look uh, on it, maybe? Yeah, so it has very powerful to torpedoes launcher, and it's still very... Maybe opens uh, the... Um, all the weapon, you know, on the left side, yeah. And he, he still is very pretty strong with his um, his, uh, his ordinances, his aircraft, and still have a decent a decent amount of uh, DPS, as you can see, like 12, uh, 12 macro and everything. So this one, by by itself, is pretty it's pretty powerful. The Blackstone may be a, a bit less powerful because it needs uh, it needs support, in fact. Mm -hmm. the, the Vengeful can do a lot it's of It's kind of one base. incredibly yeah. long range gun, whereas the Vengeful Spirit can kind of get in there That's it. and deal some damage. And yeah, in fact, if you look at the, the difference in the health totals, even even though the Blackstone is like plus 300 points or plus 400 points over yeah. the, the Vengeful, it has way less health. Almost what, like uh, two thirds or, or something. So, you know, like we said, there is a little bit of balance in this mode. We're not trying to make something that isn't fun to play. We will not be able to but we're not going to be able to balance it to the yeah. level that we can balance the 1v1 mode. And we're and basically in focusing on the 1v1 mode, which is what we want to do, the 1200 point mode. Um, that just means that we, we can't then also try and balance for this mode because it's using the same pool of ships. So hopefully people enjoy it. Again, if there's something that's like totally busted, we'll take a look at it. Um, but it isn't going to be our number one priority. The number one priority for this mode is making sure you have fun. Um, and in a similar in a similar fashion, um, we've gone for the cruiser clash mode here. So we're just gonna essentially ram ourselves into the Tyranid fleet um, and hope hope we come out victorious. Hope that Charles comes out victorious. Let's go for it, Charles. You. I believe in you. So what? Um, why did we build this mode? Why? Yeah. Okay. The the main reason is that we we, we could do it pretty easily, and mm -hmm. it was mainly asked by people yeah. to be able because the, the competitive thing at one uh, one thousand and two hundred is people are pretty okay with that. They don't want too much more chip more chip to manage mm -hmm. in competitive play, but just for fun, you you could be able to do that, Reporting. and that is why we we do it. Yeah, it's a, it's it's not. I wouldn't say it was easy to develop. It's Game development that, is never easy. It's, it's not that easy, <laughs> yeah. but it was. But it was. Easy. It was something that we could do without, you know, developing loads of new assets and loads exactly. of new art and loads of new different stuff. And people were asking for it. People just wanted to use bigger ships. They wanted to use more, you know, more points of ships, more fleets. Um, and you know, oh, hey, we're a, we're a community-based game, PC only. We're going to listen to you guys. We're going to give you what you want. That is, that is the intention at all times. There are enemies coming your way, Charles. Yeah, maybe try to split a bit your your fleet for the, the first engagement. 
I'm just going to bait with your aircraft. As you need scanning with scanners first. Um, maybe. I think they do have the ancient. I think it's there in the back. Uh, let's have a look. Sharp is me. There he is. Uh, nice. Okay. He's um he's big. He's big, everyone. He's big and tentacly. And um, can you check uh, his weapons to the like an ancient one? Yeah. So you, this one has not too much powerful weapons. Mm. He has basically just just uh, aircraft, but he's a very powerful. Group. Skill mm. like the uh, ancient psychic scream. You can change the, the, world, the, world, the world game in just an instant. Mm. So we'll see how it's playing. Let's see it will come. And this is the thing with the Titans is you know we could have made a bunch of ships that were almost undefeatable, uh, but again that would be too much fun. And while. Balance is not, you know, the key part of it. Fun is the key part of it. So it's about making sure these things are still entertaining to play with and entertaining to play with and against. Um, so they have weaknesses, like for example, the Blackstone's quite weak. If you just kind of dive in on it and you try and get it, you're probably going to be able to get it out of there. Yeah. If if your opponent hasn't played properly, the Ancient One isn't a total gun fortress. It has all these special abilities that you're trying to use and that you're always trying to, you know, have the most effect with, um, and you need to play intelligently to do that. This is, is the ultimate kind of. Things were going okay here, Charles. But now they have a lot of ships, I've noticed. And you yeah. have not is a lot of ships. Is a war fleet here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> pretty just massive terrain ships, mainly. So the other cool thing about this mode is, so we have all these micromanaging tools. Um, within the game to make it easier to control all your fleet at once. With the previous fleets, that meant you could kind of do everything perfectly all the time. With this, just to control the fleet, you kind of need all those tools, I found, no, at least for me. You don't really need in fact, and you need the time to do every action possible. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 action, it's, it's so. actually got a massive skill cap yeah. in trying to do everything possible, even on the slowest modes, even when you're, you know, you're, you're just trying to do everything perfectly, it can be, it can be a real challenge. They have boarded that ship, that ship is, is in a bad way. We must escape. You split up your forces, Charles. It's, it's, it's going wrong. Yeah, you split maybe a bit too much, but... Where is the Vengeful? Please, this was try, try to play the Vengeful to... Yeah, this one. This was your idea, Ugo. This is... The, you're... You're, you're going to be to blame here. That's all I'm saying. I mean... <laughs> okay. Maybe some uh, ordinances on the, the ancient one. Just send everything you can on it. Now the, the, the other thing is that this does use all the same rules, all the same um, flagship rules and stuff yeah. like that, the different uh, abilities and skills that you can use. Those are all applied to the Titans and applied to the biggest, biggest everything fleets. Is so everything that you're used to using, everything that you've used in BFG2 already, where it comes to skills and admiral upgrades and stuff like that, you can now just apply it across a larger um, a larger group of ships and also these titans themselves so yeah you can have the vengeful spirit doing a micro warp jump um, and that's pretty satisfying if I do say so myself that guy is going to be like get out of here turn in try some torpedoes with the uh, vengeful spirit and they're coming right away well they were okay here by the power of having two titans, we're going to be okay. That's my... That's my plan. Should be fine. Be fine. <laughs> that is a lot of torpedoes. Good lord. Fire! Nice. That guy got absolutely shredded. Holy crap. So yeah, hopefully as everyone can see, um, this mode is its a ton of fun. It's, it, it really is. Absolute chaos would be my um, my definition for it. I was trying to record footage of it, and I would just leave it to play. I would just like point all my ships at the enemy, yeah. give them all commands, and then just let it play and see what happened. Yeah, you uh, can use it uh, just it, it, <laughs> It's honestly just like a fun screensaver. Yeah. Even if you just don't even want to touch it, you're just doing your homework. You're just you know doing a bit of doing a bit of cleaning, 
Uh, you just run in the background, and I promise you, you are big time. You've outsmarted them all. I can't believe it. I thought he was doomed. You can't lose the vengeful spirit. I haven't known that. You should put it in your coat once, Charles, uh, because it's it's boarding a lot currently. So if you put. Uh, yeah, just put once on it. Not to save it. Yeah. Nice. And you should maybe try to focus the ancient one, but I guess you got it. We are unstoppable! Show us our victims! Okay, so we saw three three titan on six with this game. We're gonna switch to the the Imperial one. Yeah, so um what other stuff have we got in here? We got Imperial Titans as well, there's an Orc Titan. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's the yeah. Orc Space Hulk, which is again from the campaign. The Orc and, uh, and the Phalanx and the Magic. Uh, the the McCrags Honor and the um, the Phalanx, they can be deployed in either Space Marine Fleet, an Imperial yeah. Fleet, or an Admech Fleet, is that correct? They, they can be deployed yeah. in this fleet, even if they are Space Marine. Mm. You can do what you like. They're muting aboard the Vengeful Spirit. This is, yeah. it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Listen, I was promised planet destroying power from this, this Blackstone, and frankly, it's. Okay, you should bring back everybody towards them. Then use your torpedo boarding and maybe a prop. It's gonna be a coward one. Oh! That is the Vengeful Spirit gone, he is away. Now the cool now the cool thing about this is that um, because these are using the, the the models from the campaign, is every time you kill a Blackstone, it has the biggest death animation you've ever seen in your life. It is the coolest thing. And I think we're gonna see it. Well done, Charles. Congratulations. That's what we wanted to see, so. Is that this plane? All right. If anyone has any questions, do hit us. Um, I think uh, we covered everything. We covered everything about massive leaps that we want to talk about. Like, yeah, we can. More points, just... Titans. We're going to show more. We're going to have more playing in the background through the whole stream. So. This has honestly turned to absolute chaos. Reporting. Our strike team slaughtered them. Are you familiar with Pyrrhic victories, Charles? Oh, just the, the uh, so you do get to watch this explode, so that's pretty nice. So, the tar terrain guts you. Away it goes. Nice. I'm sorry okay, for your loss, still, Charles. It's still a nice game. Nice. So yeah, that's uh, that is Master Fleet's mode. Also in this patch um, was a huge. This this change log is like yeah so long. Um, is there anything you want to talk about that we also added in this patch, Hugo? Uh, maybe apart for the the massive fleet, mm -hmm. maybe we, we will do another game. But um, yeah, it'll run in the background. But we we work a lot about the the, sin, the seasonal re rewards mm -hmm. that maybe some of you should should get at this moment as we we started the season two right away, maybe thirty minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So currently for each season you will get some portrait and frame or achievement based on, on your ranking. So it should put some uh, some incentive to people for 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 doing more more ranking game. Yeah, we started. Um the second season about half an hour ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So you should now have your season one rewards. That's it. Let us know if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we believe all of those rolled out. Congratulations yeah. to Soler for winning uh, season one. We can't wait to see who wins season two. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of cool rewards for doing that. Um, and we're planning to run those for the foreseeable future. We don't intend on stopping the rank play. It's easy to run. Um, and we want to give people rewards for playing the game and having fun. Um, so yeah, please enjoy. 
And so we've begun season two. Are there any major changes for season two other than balance stuff? We or can pretty much running. We can finish way? about uh, just after another game with mm -hmm. um, balancing, but uh, with balancing change mm -hmm. and. Uh, on maybe some bug fix or a new addition. We did some smaller thing in co-op or, or campaign, but mm. it's not the main focus of this pitch. Yeah, I would say the patch was mainly massive fleets yeah. and also the balance patch, right? That's it. Yeah. All right, what we getting this time? McCrag's honor. Nice. A few battle barges. Do we take the, the phalanx after or? Yeah, we'll do one with the phalanx after this one. I like that idea. Keep them separate. Um, yeah, so is there, any, is there anything that you want to highlight that we did in the balance changes? Um, as you can see, maybe the, the last season. Mm -hmm. uh, Solar uh, has just won the, the first season. Yeah. Uh, and we, we got pretty strong orcs and two in, mm -hmm. in the last season. So we hope it will not be the case in, in the next one. Yeah. We did a, a lot of changing by maybe nerfing some of them. and adding a lot of new options for almost every fraction, mm -hmm. just the Drukari and some uh, Aldari has not, has not been touched too much. But we think we are doing this change with uh, the player, in fact. We have a lot of players that, that are telling us what we should do, kind mm -hmm. of, and we're basically just listening to them. Yeah, so there's a, there's a Discord for the game um, where we were pretty regularly discussing the game in there. We have also have the forums. We really, like, hey, send us your feedback. Like, let us know what you think. Um, we don't we don't want to make this game in isolation. Not to put it to put it simply, like we, we want you to help us out. Like let us know what you think. Um, give us the you know oh I've had a lot of success with this. Oh I really like this weird build. Um, and you know that can affect not only how we balance stuff but also adding stuff. If we're like hey that's a really cool idea, what it would really use is this new idea, this new mechanic that we could add in. Um, and like you were saying, we've kind of added stuff to different factions here, yeah. as well as even when we're like you were saying, Tau maybe need to be brought down a bit you are still trying to change their, some of their stuff so that they can exactly. have new strategies to replace old ones that were maybe boring or, or less. So exciting. there is not just a single massive change. Mm. I could not say just one, but yeah. just check the, the change list. We, we change every almost every possible cost of every chip. We, we kind of buff the, um, the DPS of Imperium uh -huh. because they're a bit low. And we, we give a lot more of tactical op option to Necrons or a bit of Orcs. So... We hope it will be better for the second second on, on a balancing point of view. Our core players are saying it should be it should be fine. We will maybe still balance a bit the, the game in the coming months, but with no with no specific date or, or anything so far. So we hope with this patch, the season two will be uh, the season two will be fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you enjoy season two, let us know. No doubt there will be some tweaks that are required. Yeah. There always are, particularly after the changes of this magnitude. So there will be another patch. We're trying to patch roughly monthly. Um, it should maybe slow down a, a bit. We would hope that we don't have to do it monthly, like balance patches and stuff. Um, and that means that we can continue to kind of make larger features for the future. Um, yeah. We also added over the last couple of months. We added some new ships. There were some new Necron ships yeah. um, that were added last month, mm, month and a yeah. half ago, something and like that. End of March. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we want to continue to do that sort of thing as well. Um, it's just cool when we can. You know, we want to find holes in different rosters. Um, you know, again, places where maybe a strategy could use something new to, to back it up and to make something interesting. Um, and so, hey, let's kick into this one. Who do we want to go against? Uh, was to the player or just... Who do you want? Who do you want to see? Vote in the chat. Orcs have a Titan. Tyranids have a Titan. Uh, all three Imperium factions have a Titan, and Chaos have two we'll Titans. We we'll try against Orcs. What do you think of Orcs, everyone? Come on, lag, you can do it. Orcs. Dev's gonna try some multiplayer. No. Absolutely not, Orcs. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> All right, that's three votes for Orcs. We're, we're going okay. Orcs, I like it. Hit launch, let's do it. Okay, so while this plays out, um, if you've got any questions, hit us with them in the chat. We're gonna do a little Q&A, and then we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that we have coming up. There isn't a ton we can say, we're not making any huge announcements today. We've got a little, got a little bit of spice for you. Just, just a little bit. Um, and I'll see if there's been any questions while I wasn't paying attention. Do all factions have a Titan ship? No. no. So it is the three Imperial factions, yep. Orcs, Tyranids, and, and Chaos. Chaos. Currently, we'd love to add more. Yep. 
making the Titan ships themselves can take quite a lot of time because they are massive models. That's why currently we're using ones that we have in campaign. There is plans for one more to be added. We won't tell you who it's for or what it is. Maybe you can guess. But hey, if you've got a cool idea, if you know of like one that really fits with the lore or that you think would be super cool, or maybe it would be easy for us to make for whatever reason, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, we would really like there to be one Titan per, per faction, right? Like that would be cool. That would be something we would like to do. Um, so hey, yeah, let's, let us know. Okay. So oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's turn, maybe. More rapping. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the characteristics of the Nova Cannon? Says Yard Batman. Uh, now they are useless in multiplayer because of the small attack radius. Any thoughts? Fighting right. stealth approach. Uh, are they useless now? <laughs> Do you, not, do you not agree with his statement? I'm not really sure they're useless, uh -huh. but uh, would you, I would like to, to change them maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we yeah, what do you, what do you think? Of, yeah, a bit of change about Nova Cannon on, on some ad I mm -hmm. think we on, on this patch. There were some bug fixes to it. Um, yeah, there were some bug fixes and some small changes, but there weren't any massive... Uh, balance changes to it, unless... I think we change an upgrade for a mech for having more loads or something like that. So it still should be viable. Give it a shot. Try on the new patch, let us know. Yeah. Of course. How would we be able to make suggestions for future, 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 future Titans? I'm very good at talking. Uh, forums, Discord, Twitter DMs, smoke signals, letters to the HQ, uh, just mug me in the street, I don't know, whatever works. Uh, I'm happy either way. Um, yeah, just let us know via, you know, mention them in chat right now. Tell us what you want. Planet Killer. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know. Um, why is there still no Hellfire class heavy cruiser? What is a Hellfire class heavy cruiser? I assume oh. that must be from the BFG. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing based on this emoji that this is a meme of some sort. It could be coming. It could be coming? Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, Dive Adam's gonna come mug me. That sounds good. Alright, I'm excited for that. I am listening. I did see another question earlier, one second. Hold course. I like that. Until. Okay, maybe let's focus on the fight. And, uh, oh, you should try to engage with a lot of torpedoes, Chow, maybe, to see the kind of scale of... Oh, and there is a... the space arc. That is very big. Yeah. Show us the enemy. All servitors and tech marines okay. begin repairs. So my crate is pretty damaged already. We stand ready. They have, they have found their target. I'll give them that. World engine for the Necrons, that would be good. I think they're quite large though, world engines, aren't they? Aren't they like planet sized? Yeah, yeah we speak yeah. about it and it's pretty, pretty <laughs> hard. We, we could not put it on game map, in fact, if we like to replace some strike? kind of scale. But yeah, the, the, the Titan for the ne Necron is a, a tricky Moving question. They, they've always struck me as having some, like, medium-sized ships. Like, all of their ships are medium-sized. They don't have anything that's humongous. No. They don't have anything that's tiny. They're all just in the middle ground. But, you know, we can find something. We can find something. Any plans to add a more generic grand campaign that we can play with any faction? So I assume this is, like, kind of a Total War-style thing, where you would just conquer the galaxy slowly. Um, it would be mm. expensive to create. No, it's not only expensive, it's just, just that the game is very really not built on this. Mm -hmm. we, to do that, in fact, we, we will need to, to do upgrades, mm -hmm. uh, point of interest, balancing and for every faction. For yeah. every. And we uh, we saw this suggestion a lot. On, yeah. yeah, oh why yeah, why can't I just... Try it on open, yeah. an open world with a, an open map and you play in any faction, but it's not that easy to do on one, in fact. Yeah, yeah. And it's currently not playing in a faction. So the thing is that what we're doing instead, because yeah, well, look, we could do that, it's something that physically could happen. But what we're doing instead is we're building another grand campaign with all the story stuff that was in the ones that we've already made, 
uh, with its own kind of mechanics and its own um, its own faction as a focus. We're not talking about it too much right now, but as you folks know, those of you who pay the ultimate amount of attention, and if I just bring up this image here, sorry, they can't see you playing now, Charles. So if you do any sick move moves, they're not going to know. We've done the three things that we promised, but we have we have one one left, just just over that way with the new grand campaign. We still can't tell you uh, too much about it. Um, it's going to be really cool. We're yeah. really excited to get it in your hands. It's coming out this year. Yeah. What I can say about it is that we're working on it. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, are working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who goes day to day? <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it every day. And um, it's, it, will, but it will be not only a, a new grand campaign. Mm -hmm. What we'd like to do with this, uh, this new version, with, with this new big patch, in fact. It's to improve a lot of things in the campaign. Every campaign existing, mm. uh, we get a lot of, we still get a lot of flow in the campaign. Mm. We get some uh, some suggestion about it. Just as much, um, we, you know, we've had just as much campaign feedback as we've had more player yeah. feedback. Yeah, and we really want to to keep going and improve the, the existing campaign with a lot of things. I cannot say too much currently, but uh, it's with, with the next, with the next yeah. thing, it will not be only a new run campaign. I think it will be worth it to play again the existing one. Or if you, you know, if you played one of the existing ones, then you're like, well, I'll wait for the new one. Maybe the existing ones will still be interesting to you. Yeah. We stand ready. Those guys really go up. The gra I think so. The PC we're playing on is not the highest end PC we have in the office, and you may have noticed some amount of lag. That's what we're talking about. That, that's what this mode's all about: explosions and a slight amount of lag. Uh, I'm going to read this very long question. Hang on. Oh, right, yes. Clony99 is asking no. about the idea of an achievement. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, where you like beat a member of the development team and then you have the infection. Yeah, we, that is fun. we had it in the first game, right? Or something similar? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe not. I, I've heard about it in something. That is actually a cool idea, though. We can maybe. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Where shall we strike? Uh, can I? I can. I can lower the volume of the fight. There we go. You're making. You're, you're killing too many ships. Uh, which faction will be in the new campaign? Can't tell you. Uh, do these suggestions need to be in the law, or can we make it up? Sort of a bit of both. Uh, it needs to be within like reasonable expectation. And we will need to get it approved by Games Workshop, of course. All our work goes through them. But it doesn't have to be something that definitely already existed. For example, most of the Drakari ships we designed, right? Mm, yeah. Because there was only, like, two of them in I Battlefleet so. Gothic, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the board game. We created from scratch. We created a bit of Necrons 1, 2. Some Tyranid stuff as well, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, so, you know, we can, we can make stuff up. It just needs to be stuff that would fit within the world. And hey, you know, if you have an idea... Tell us anyway, like we can, we, it's our jobs to work all that stuff out. We're not expecting everyone to understand all the intricacies of designing something for, for the 41st millennium. Yes, V-Day, exactly. Within the expectations of the law that not here is exactly where it showed up in, in, in previous times. This hasn't gone too well, has it, Charles? Yeah, you lost the boss of them. <laughs> it's not too bad, anyway. Get him, Charles. All you got, like, the, the thing is about this mode as well, there's so many moral victories that you can get. Because all, all you want to do is blow up that Titan. That's all you actually want to do. You don't care about winning the battle. You just want to blow up that big ship. Yeah, there is not too much impact if you win or lose. As it's, it's kind of a custom game. So, so yeah. Yeah, this is another reason that why, is you know, it isn't, it is not a mode designed for, you got a shield back, Charles. Oh, no, no, you can, you can take him down. I believe in your moral victory. Honestly, that does sound pretty rad. It does sound pretty rad. Uh, 2v2 ranked. Are oh, we planning to re reintroduce it? Uh, <laughs> this, yeah, I saw this question. This is a, this is a truth stream. This yeah. is a truth stream. You go. Yeah, uh, Rip the bandaid off. And I think we have to say it, but the two v two ranking thing will not be something that we're gonna do. For, Just not possible, balance wise. Uh, kind of first mm -hmm. because we saw it at first in the the few months maybe be of the game, uh, maybe in February, mm -hmm. as the two v two was ranked two, and people were in 
higher rank and he was just their, their friend or the, mm -hmm. the allies that was doing everything. And, uh, having two leaderboards, different leaderboards for that can be pretty long to do so. So it will, it, it will still be in matchmaking, but it will be not ranked. We don't think we will rank it in the coming months. So there you go. We had to give bad news, but sometimes we need to. Um, if you disagree <laughs> and you think the 2v2 ranks are super important, uh, isn't that it's impossible, it's just that it is a lot, again, it's, a, it's a, a lot of work to get it to a state where we want it to be, where it's worthwhile and it's useful for people. So let us know what you think. We'll look at it. Uh, will Galactic Conquest mode be a thing? I, I, asked, I answered that question. The answer is no, because we're making... I almost, I almost said who it was for. I almost said it. I was like, we're making a, we're making another grand campaign. Blackstone Fortress's firepower is too weak. In law, it should rip apart a whole fleet by itself. There is, there is that, isn't there? Yeah, it's not <laughs> quite the same because it would not be fun even in the the campaign to have a Blackstone that one shot everything. The planet killer do it, mm -hmm. but the Blackstone still have a DPS and maybe it's not that. It could be higher, I guess. So like we said, like, you know, when I'm, we were saying this is a fun first mode, that doesn't mean we can't make changes to it. Yeah. We can alter the numbers on these ships as easily as we can alter anything else. So we'll probably, you know, next patch, whenever that happens to be, there will be changes, I would expect, to, uh, to these, these ships. So if there's stuff in, that's specific to Titan mode and um, to Massive Fleets mode that you want to see changed, um, let us know about that too, and we can hopefully quite easily uh, do a, uh, an upgrade on those. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. Someone dug out their uh, their Battlefleet Gothic book and found that we were <laughs> looked at the Drakari section and yeah, there was only two of them. That was not quite enough to build the whole faction out of. So, two v two may may see this possible with this uh, with this build. Uh, I see the, the, this question. Mm -hmm. You can do two v two with your friend uh, on this build. Mm -hmm. You don't have uh, to wait anymore. But uh, yeah, everything is uh, available on Skirmish mode with uh, with Massive Fleet against AI or or with a friend. You died gloriously, Charles, <laughs> which is always what's important. All right, cool. That's everything we want to show today. Um, if there are any more questions, do hit us up. Uh, we'll be bringing you more. Oh, there is more. There is more questions. They immediately started as I soon as I started so. going. How do you find a book with uh, within the runtime of the stream? Hey, look, that book is good. Maybe he's got a, a PDF. Uh, this massive fleet mode is an original part of the game, or it's just a community mode. It's it's we made it. If that's if that's the question, we made it. Um, we altered all the yeah, numbers we, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it's not. A, it is not a mod. Um, it's also free. We should probably point out. Um, you can literally go play it right now. It's just a patch. Um, you don't have to pay for it in any way. Play it multiplayer. No, <laughs> we don't want to lose. That's the real reason. Uh. uh. What do Blackstone Fortress and Vengeful Spirit Death Guard look like? Can we show them? Can we use the ship viewer to show them? I think we can, right? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can. Uh, to see the Death Guard? I don't think so. I think. We'll show you. Uh, what do you think of in depth modding? <laughs> Uh, sounds cool. I don't yeah, know. it sounds cool. We are not against this. Mm -hmm. To to be honest, we, yeah. we don't try here. We will not try to stop you to do that. Mm -hmm. But we are not all, also allowing to push to do it to sides. Yeah, creating the tools that will be required to support it like natively in a way that could be on the Steam Store and stuff again is just a large amount of work and yeah. a lot of time that we would again rather invest in making new grand campaigns. Patching the game, making new modes like massive fleets, etc., etc. Oh, there's something about historical battle maps. That would be cool. Oh, here it is. Law accurate battle maps. There were some famous space wars that were either partly or completely fought in the atmosphere of a planet, or some sort of space fort and maps with a giant unique objective in the middle would maybe be fun to create and always also always get players mm. interested. That would be cool, and that is that is something that we can you know now that we've kind of. We've got like a nice diverse set of ships and different modes that we can do for fleets. Maybe maps are somewhere we can improve it, but the problem with like dedicating a lot of time and, and effort to making new maps is it isn't as interesting. In fact, right? we, we do new map for scripted mission, mm -hmm. and we've kind of 
I don't remember, maybe 250 different maps. Yeah. Maybe we could do some with specific settings to, uh, to, to recreate kind of in the massive... Because we, we have um, we have debug tools where you can kind of load the background and uh, stuff from yeah. those maps and you can load different stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it crashes. It's the reason that you don't have access to it. It isn't fun to use, um, but it is, you know, it's possible. <laughs> Mm, no, we will not add massive fleet in single player campaign. Oh yeah, so we talked about the, the the possibility of this the other day. Actually, I was speaking to some people, and the problem with having massive fleets in single player is all of the balance and all the performance completely goes out the window um, because there's already like a lot of different scripted stuff in there. Mm. There's lots of different um, like different sizes of fleets and that sort of thing that you that you wouldn't be used to in in skirmish mode, and so it can be really kind of it, it's just horrible for the way that your uh, your machine might run. And for the actual gameplay of it, Xbox One. Have you have you tried this with a pad? <laughs> Was it any fun? I, I don't. I don't get too much this question. The <laughs> two is not playable on console. It is, it's not. Do it, it's, it, it would not work. We apologize. Yeah. Do you have any paid content and discussions after the grand campaign, etc.? We will see how things go from here. Um, we would love to continue to make content for this game. I think that would that is the truth. That would be great. Uh, we just need to see what the, the interest in the game is. You know how how are we doing in sales by that point? Um, what are Tinderloaf's up to in terms of game development? Uh, and yeah, is it is there is there a good reason to continue to, to support it as well as interest from the community? So we'll see. Uh, does the ancient one's tongue have a special ability? I think it has yeah. a um, a latching move, right? Like every uh, every other one, else, I think. What's the question exactly? Uh, the ancient one's tongue. Does it have some special ability, or is it just like that? It's oh. there. Oh, it's just a model. Oh, it's yeah. just a model. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> have you played it with a, a flight stick? That isn't a bad idea. Can we can we do that? Listen, I guess right, put you, the grand campaign out the window, right? Never I guess, mind. I guess you could do it. Even you could like, if you if you want to. Yeah, you could. And then you could like bind the mount. Do it. Do it yourselves. Uh, another idea would be to create other game modes for PvP. Well, so this is. Oh, you mean. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, I thought yeah, you yeah. meant. Um, for example, a protect the planet type of play where one player has more troops but the other has AI controlled uh, air defense from the planet. So, as you were saying with the idea of building in the scripted missions into Skirmish, that's the kind of thing where you probably could do that kind of thing. Because you could use some of the defense missions and such that are in the campaign yeah. to do that. Um, the reason that we don't have like a load of different modes is that we have that in BFG one, yeah. and it wasn't too popular, right? In fact, in fact, they were in campaign. I guess maybe not that much in multiplayer. Mm. I cannot speak for everybody. Mm. And uh, the main point is that we don't got them anymore in BFG two. Mm. Um, where I may spoil spoil is about the campaign. We will work on that. In fact, in the coming in the coming months, having a having some secondary objective mm. going up the layer uh, of uh, domination of Cruiser Clash to add a lot a lot of diversity of every campaign fight but it's not planned currently to have this in in competitive ranked 1v1 we, ca we can think about it to be totally transparent we're gonna be focused a bit more on the campaign improvement mm. and new campaign in the coming months and a bit less on the multiplayer on the multiplayer aspect we did a lot in the last patches yeah. about balancing uh, balancing change new game mode new new vessel and we'd like to to focus a bit more on the campaign now in the coming months yeah all right cool i think that's i think that's everything thanks for joining us Uber. thank you thanks for joining us charles thanks okay thanks for joining us twitch chat we hope you did well please let us know anything that you want or need or love about yeah. the game Forums, Discord, Smoke Signal, again, mug me. Um, I live in Paris, it'll probably be terrible. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to play you out with the trailer. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks, see you guys.